I can tassie nessie. Came to visit the grave of Brother Piero with my pay my respects. Your friend didn't mind uh your friend didn't mind him. It's a proper Christian. The kind man. God rest his soul. Hope he gives you some peace too, a couple times. Assume you're referring to auto speech. Won't end well. Life's getting harder for everyone, but if this goes on, there'll be backlash, buddy. I don't like the abbot coming for my fishing rights, but I will make do. I'm not sure if their lives comparable to ours. Yeah. I work for my wages, like any man, Andreas. We work, we don't complain, it's not Christian. Jesus spoke the struggle of the meek and the poor and sided with them against the wealthy and powerful. Now the Lord sees us meek, all meek and poor. I suppose, how's your family doing during these troubling times? We're fine. Agnes is fine. Brigida and Martin are fine. Martin's becoming far more responsible of a man after his return. I just wish, uh, um, never mind. I wish Wolf hadn't died. Oh. I mourn the boy after all these years later. I hope you take up my mantle. I wanted to pass on my knowledge and trade. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Perhaps Brigida will have another while I live. She seems happy enough with Martin. I'd love to hear the patter of small feet again. Boy to hold a chisel and a mallet. Little stonemason making his grandfather proud. Hope the wish comes true. God willing. And finally now, I got things to do. Until later, Andreas. Until then. Okay, we're already over there. Let's go to the north. I thought this construction is going smoothly. I wonder if they'll finish it in winter. Stoltz house. Oh, Andreas. Great conversation. You got a tinkerer? Althazar. Salutations! You must be the wonderful artist. No. Master Andreas Myler, yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alistar Eisenkopf. At your service. Call me Baltus. Please. It's much more familiar. Have you been attacking long? Oh, just a few seasons. My cart broke down and I found a place so charming I decided to stay. I enjoy the quiet, but I must say I do miss the company of other intellectuals. Usually that good Dr. Stoltz and I whittle, for, uh, uh, whittle the hours away in the evening. So naturally, when I heard a well-known artist has returned, beside myself. I'm always pleased to meet a like-minded individual. What do you do? I'm an inventor of sorts. Really? What do you make? All sorts of things, young man. Mechanical clocks of all size, metal mice that skitter about, even light without flame. Master of your craft, you get my respect. Thank you. you. Must come by later so I can pick your brain. We must share our ideas, no? Oh well, I better get back. Uh, back to it. You know how it is for us few. Called the higher art. Good luck, Baltus. Until later. Oh uh, yeah, wind work. Yep, we look at that. Looks like that's it. Um, mill maybe. Try the mill. I 
Hello? Give me. I've forgotten your name. Andreas, Master Artist. Must be L.C. Millerin? Miller's wife? Oh yes, that's me. A husband has been talking about your arrival. Please, you've done so well for yourself. Thank, yeah, we'll be kind. Thank you. He works relentlessly to keep us in good condition. Very proud of it. Uh, unique in these parts, inspired by the designs used. So it's very profitable too. That's important. Who's this young man? I'm my apprentice. Hello. Oh, you must meet my darling Paul. I'd love to meet someone his age. Suing art. Just nowhere uh, an art can see. I'm sure, we can arrange that. That would be delightful. Thank you both. You're most welcome. And that's where I turn to my work. Till later. Till then. Hello. Hello, you're Paul, right? I don't think we spoke last time we were passing. Yeah, I was just a kid then. How you doing? I, uh, I'm alright. Dad keeps talking about all his new hunting rifle. It scares me. Brutish weapons, deadly when handled. I saw soldiers carrying the rifles. The sight scared me too. Always be uh, be afraid sometimes. Dad said if you show your fear, you're a coward, and people will take advantage of you. Dad is wrong, Paul. Don't talk so loudly. I need to go. Forget I said anything, Master Maller. Uh, please. Until later. Master Artist, yes? Uh, I don't recognize you. No, no. Leonard Mueller, I run the mill in Tassel. So I'm wondering, if I would have spoke to this guy back in Act 1, would I have recognized him then? Oh, please make your acquaintance. Gentleman indeed. Look, I just wanted to introduce myself. Not every day someone becomes back to Tassel. You're a successful man. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Anyway, I won't keep you from your day. I'm sure we'll talk again soon enough. Good day, Andreas. Good day. Stop is still alive? Must have been a puppy then. Good boy. You know, let's go to the Roman ruins. I don't believe I've checked those out. Nice. Oh, I just defaced it. Uh, we need... Look this way. Brewer's house? I think we're gonna talk... I'll just talk to them. Just talk to everybody. Andreas? Hello, cat. Oh, would you look at that? Came back to task. Look at you. You've done well for yourself. Who's this? Um, it's my apprentice. Hello. He's got the posture of an artist, that's for sure. Good strong face, though. I do. What brings you back to Tassin, Andreas? Just passing through on the way back to Nuremberg. Have you seen Cat? Have you been Cat? I feel well. 
it's uh, past few years been challenging, but I'm stronger now for the Lord's trials. Franz passed a few winters ago, then Wolf, Brigida, and I nearly lost the farm and our mines. The Martin returned shortly after, and he proved to be a changed man, a good man. He saved us from destitution. The Lord's blessing often arises in fashion mysterious to us, but we are blessing all the same. I'm curious that yours came in the form of a literal prodigal son. Yeah, I suppose he is. In truth, I fear my trials would have been broken me if it were not for the care of Father Thomas. He's counseled me through difficult feelings and then Franz passed. When Franz passed. My condolences on his passing. Thank you. It was, uh, well... Faithful Christian. You could never say he lacked faith. It's true. No matter the hardship, he never wavered. I hoped he had found peace in the Lord's God. He was a terrible person. Now that Martin has returned to us, his farm seems no longer in danger, and Brigida and I live in the hope of more children soon. Times may be hard in Tassie right now, but God truly does answer our prayers. Glad your family are well, Cat, despite everything. Thank you, Andreas. It truly is good to see you again, ever in the midst of such terrible times. Till later. Alright. Um. Anybody else here that I haven't talked to? Hello, Andreas. Sign from God? Oh, right. I found something just a few days ago. This will sound crazy, but I found St. Moritz's head. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Alright, I can't say anything more until St. John's Day. And everyone will know. I won't say a word. Better not. I'm trusting you and being a good man about this. Whisper anything about this to anyone. I'll do more than just kick your ass. Naturally. It's like smiling at me. Till later. Okay. Anything else here before we go to Gertner's? I don't think so. else down here? I don't remember if there is. Hello again. I'm about to sit down for supper. Care to join? My pleasure. It's really a blessing to have everyone back together again. Only briefly. Keep an eye on that boy of yours, Andreas. See that he minds uh, how much he takes. Young boys eat too goddamn much. Peter, stop that. Andreas is our guest. Why don't you lead us in grace? Fine. Press the Lord these gifts we see about to receive from your bounty. Pray again for our beloved Christine gone down for these many years. He's helped me protect my family in these difficult times. Praise our Lord, amen. Where were the only ones with bread? For being polite. It's good to have you at our table again. And with another guest. Is this young man your assistant? Yeah, he's my apprentice. Ah, that would explain why I saw him writing in that little journal. I remember you did the same thing when you lived here. Uh, here we go. You still draw in your journal, Andreas? I'm trying to spend more time on land. It's hard to be in touch with God's splendor. Uh, the moon strikes. Wouldn't that be nice, York, if we only had to work when a whim took us? 
toil all day. That despicable abbot is starving us while we sips on the sacramental wine. Lay off him, Dad. He's only just here. How the fates have been treating you these days. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, Ursula's coughing. Ugh. The Lord is testing us with another hard season, I'm afraid. That's one way to be say it. I've been miserable as shit all around here. Maybe you should be resting, Grandpa. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die sitting at my own goddamn table. The whole family's been ill, Andreas. Peter, his father, Ursula. Oh no, and Agu. Me as well. Kara lost a child. Uh, child a year ago now. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Andreas. Some time ago. But, well, still think, still linger. It was monstrous. Monstrous. Remain silent. Seems... Lord rarely looks in on Tassin any longer. That's why it's time for us to take matters into our own hands. We're eating. Please, can we not talk about this now? There was... Jorg here was married a while, uh, while you were away, Andreas. Really? To whom? To me, Andreas. Why do you think I'm here? Oh, of course, you two make a good match. Jorg has been good to me. There aren't many other options in Tassin, anyway. It's been a couple of that. That sounds so bad. Well, there's really nobody else to pick from, so... It's been a couple springs, but I'm still not used to being married. Any children yet? We're tight enough for it. Not yet, nope. Soon, I hope. Uh, I'm happy for you. Thanks, Andreas. Been our blessings in a dark season. Children soon to come, I hope. Uh. <laughs> but I don't get. Do you? Oh, forget it, Ursula. What have you been up to, Andreas? Mm. Uh, Nuremberg is miserable. I'm painting a commission, but patrons are paying to be added, so it's taken ages to finish. Uh, I'm not interested in the tales of your charmed city life. Maybe you should excuse yourself for the right. You're sick. Mom, I'm so hungry. Here, you can have mine. It's not fair that nobody gets any bread besides Master Andreas and me. Stop. Give it back to him. I'm not going to have people in this town saying we can't feed our goddamn guests. Besides, we all have work to get back to, don't we? It's time to get back to it, Andreas. See uh, you and your boy later. Uh, we don't mean to overstay our welcome. It's all right, Andreas. He's just in a bad mood. It's lovely to see you again. Thank you for coming, Andreas. Will you be staying for St. John's Eve? Uh, I think so. Good. Hopefully we'll see you later. Until then. I'm really interested to see uh, what he's... What's going to happen when he shows that up? Guess we got. Go sleep. I'm going to go to the meadow. He's not here. Emily's still there. Did you hear that? Sound like someone crying out. I think it's Sixer... Emily? 
she's a mystic. She may be behaving one of, or having one of her visions. Sister Emily, are you alright? Philistines, this is the hand of God. Complying, complying? Sister, is something happening at complying? It's complying right now. No! You're the artist, Andreas. You remember me? Yes, you were here uh, when the Baron was killed. You've changed. Hopefully for the better. God knows. Will reveal. So God uh, reveals and hides his will. He always knows our inner hearts, even if we do not know it ourselves. I wish Father Thomas were here. Would you like Casper to go get him? He could, yes. His house is just around the corner. Casper, go get Father Thomas. That's Master. Your son? I apprentice, but I think of him like a son. He seems eager to please you. He's quite enthusiastic, yes. I have a little knowledge of the workings of masters and apprentices. My world is one of spirits, decoupled from the march of life and death. I see and hear your world turning from this little window. Your mercifully small glimpses. Sure is a difficult life. Life is not difficult. Choices. My life belongs to God, and its trials are mine to endure in this cell. The world is a world of normal lives, of normal thoughts. It can be difficult to hear the divine, much less make sense of it. I have no will to be part of that world. I strive to have no will at all. Support, uh, subordinate myself to God. My will is His. Or right, let's try that again. When my will is His will. Okay, there we go. Yeah, graces me through visions, confusing though may uh, they may be. Certainly, if God's giving you visions, He wants you to understand them. Understanding is a trial, Andreas. Perhaps what God wants for me is to strive and striving to understand the different deeper history. It's not my place to question God's will, but to comp contemplate the revelations I receive with the help of Father Thomas. Sister, hole in the ground. The hole in the ground your grave. Yes, I dug it before Father Thomas read my funeral rites before I was enclosed here. I dig a little more in it each day. Most people find it shocking. This is my devotion, my vocation. Once someone finds their calling, they must answer it fully. Of course, how could we do otherwise? We all find ways to stray by inches or feet. We'll have our own course to find through this life. Uh, through this life, we will all end in the same place. I just had to face this reality earlier than most. Is your calling in question, Andreas? In your life, I think. Lost my love. A love for art, love for family, love for anything. The last seven years have been hard, and it's too much for me. Who's hope, Andreas? Human heart is no small thing. It holds so much. Augustine?
Thank you for sending Casper. She asked for you. Are you alright, Sister Emily? Yes, Father. I had another vision. I remember a little bit of it. Master Allen's apprentice heard nothing specific. That's unfortunate, but I'm glad you're alright. Andreas, Casper, would you excuse us? Appreciate sure you must tend to her and her. Alright, yep. Now in the church. Right. Of course, good evening. God bless you both. What did all that mean? Not quite sure, but the last time I heard Sister Amelia have vision, it was before the Baron was murdered. I think Sister Amelia was receiving warnings? It's possible John receives his revelations of Apocalypse and Patmos the vision of Judgment Day. Then again, St. Hildegard received many wondrous visions, and none of them prophetic. Sister Emily herself said it. Mystical visions can be difficult to understand. I guess so. I can't understand any of this. Fine, it's late. Uh, let's retire. It's late. Yes. else in here. Where is place sleeping? Aren't I sleeping in here? How do I get upstairs? There we go. Just didn't want to go upstairs. I'm so tired, the stairs are hard. get some rest. Go to sleep. Alright, so we're going to end it here then for tonight. So we'll continue this on... Tuesday night. Uh, there'll be no stream Thursday. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'll put, instead of Thursday, because I'll be busy, we're going to do it Wednesday. So we're going to have a Tuesday and Wednesday night stream. And then uh, yeah, we'll be back on Sunday after that. Um, but yeah, we'll continue with this on Tuesday then. But i just like to thank everybody for spending some time here. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. And if you are new here and like to see more content like this, please subscribe. If you're on Twitch, please give me a follow. I'll see you all next time.